Okay, Ricky, I am going to show you a little bit about Mars Edit. This seemed to be easier than trying to show you some tips through email. So I have my Mars Edit windows here. Um, I've set up the blog, and I prefer to view the, just the posts because I don't like to enter the pages. Um, you can see all the posts here, and you just the new post. This is the post that I'm writing now. This is my podcast post. Now, with the theme that we're using, the first image that you upload to your Mars Edit post is automatically going to be the featured image. So, as you can see, my featured image is going to be, going to be down here. You have to leave it in the post. So, I always recommend writing your post above the first image that you want to use as your featured image. So, like I said, so for the first thing I did was I dragged the image I wanted to use from my browser over here without anything there. It was the first thing I did. And then I just put my cursor above the HTML and wrote my post. Any other images you use, you should just put the HTML where you want to use it. Or where you want to place the image, excuse me. So if I want to put an image here, I just paste the cursor there and then go over here, find I should say I wanted to add the same one for some stupid reason. I just click and drag, click and drag it over. Okay? And then it's going to come up with a box like this. It won't pop up to the top, so you have to go find it. You name which what you want to name it and click upload now. Okay, I'm not going to upload it because I already have that one uploaded. Um, okay, that's the way, way you do all images. The first one you do like that will be your fi your featured image, the one that shows up for the thumbnail and one that shows up for the featured post image up at the top in the slider. Any image you, show, you put in after that will just appear where you want, wherever you put the HTML code. Okay, so that's the way you do images. There's another way you could do it also. If you if you already have the, the image in your computer, you just search through these down here. Um, and then you just click it, and then you click insert. You can change the width and the height. This is if you're going to do it from something on your computer. Uh, um, that will upload it when you upload your post. So that's a little bit different from doing it from the, the browser. Um, let's see here. You should get all the categories here. You just do, do your click here, your title, your tag. Make sure you enter your tags. You, can, you see preview by clicking the preview button. Okay. Um, now what's nice is there's two different ways you can write. You can write in the HTML editor like I do, just because I think it's easier to see where stuff is going to be and change the properties of it. Or you can write in the in the um, the rich text one, where you'll be able to choose the font and stuff like that. And I think the HTML one is better because, like I said, you get to see all this. Now, say you wanted to link something, you just highlight what you want want to cut the link format and then you can just choose paste link if you paste it or you can press add link and type it in. Same thing doing the bold and italics. This format here does a lot of things for you so you can if you want to add a, a, a header like I did here a header 3 which is medium sized you just highlight what you wanted to do and you could either type the H3 with brackets or format and then the header number that you want. One's the biggest, six is the smallest, obviously. Um, and then you just press send to blog. That'd be all you do. Um, now these things, these part, this part here, you don't have to deal with. I put these in by myself. But if you remember back when we had the old theme where you'd have to use a custom field in order to insert the image for the thumbnail or the featured image, you could also these are the custom fields so you could enter your custom fields if you needed to with this theme so if we ever go to back to a thing where we have to use custom fields which isn't out of the question um, I can show you how to use custom fields within Mars edit as well 
Um, if, if you're going to, when you're done, say you're in the middle of a, of a post and you're going to leave the computer, you just click Save as Draft. That will that will save it locally here on on your computer. Now, if you wanted to save it as a draft on in WordPress, you go down here and select the po po post status as draft instead of publish, and then you just click send to blog, and it would save it as a draft. It wouldn't go public yet. Um, other than that, everything here stays the same. We do not accept trackbacks, uh, text filters. The only option is none. Comments are always going to be open. Um, you're welcome to add your own categories if you want. Um, I try to keep it to a general list. Um, th specific things are for tags. Anything specific is tags, not categories. Broad, specific, broad, specific. Um, I think that's going to be it for now. Um, I can't think of anything else. This, this is a very easy program to learn. Um, if you're not familiar with HTML, use the rich text editor. I prefer doing all my posts in this. I don't. I hardly ever use the WordPress editor because I think this is better. Um, which is probably why I haven't seen the errors that you're seeing. But like I said in the email I sent this morning, I think I figured it out. Um, I think it's uh, a plugin that we have to use for the podcast. And until I can figure out what's causing the error within the theme, um, I have a couple friends that are going to look into it for me in the next couple of days, so we'll see what we can do. Um, let's see here. Like I said, I don't think there's anything else. You can edit edit any post here too, including mine. So I prefer if you don't do that. I don't edit yours. So, um, but anything here that sh shows yours. That's the only bad part about Mars that is that it shows everybody's posts and it doesn't tell you whose posts they are. So, um, yeah, that's it.